What is going on YouTube? Jay here from Maji and Jay today with another video of a replica and this is about the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I know a lot of you guys are going to say Jay but we have seen the replica of the iPhone 11 Pro Max and you are absolutely correct. However, this is the first midnight green color to be released to the market and we can tell here from the box the similarities but they're never a one to one so here we have the original box from the iphone 11 pro max this is the 18t version and on my right hand side we had the one simulating to be the international version or the unlocked version of the iphone 11 pro max and on the back here we can see the specifications very similar to what we see here on the real box with exception that there's a barcode missing here on the bottom right hand side corner this one is claiming to be 512 gigabytes, which is the max memory that you can get on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. But we know that in reality, this is going to have 16 gigabytes of internal storage, one gigabyte of RAM or two. I think this one has a different processor as well, but I cannot confirm that as of right now. Um, so let's just say that it has the MTK65A0, the GPU is the Mali 400, typical on replicas. Um, now the iPhone 11 Pro Max, we know that it has the new A13 chip and it is absolutely incredible in terms of performance. It comes with four gigabytes of RAM. Um, the model that I have has 256 gigabytes and it has a 6.5 inch display. So the first thing to notice here is the color of the box. They're not one to one. This one looks more realistic, just like you see it on the phone itself, as you can tell. And this one seems to be a little bit more grayish and it has like a, a shadow here on the bottom left hand side of the box and I think it has to do with the printing uh, ink and again you can easily tell if you are comparing it side by side with the original box. Now another thing to notice here and you can't really go by this in particular uh, because of the fact that um, I've seen other replicas out there that have the little pull tab like the original box does when it's brand new. Uh, this one, you can see the seal is not perfect, the lines are not perfect, and it doesn't have the pull tab. But again, don't go by this particular video in terms of what you're seeing is what you're gonna see in the future. Maybe on other replicas, you're gonna see that pull tab. And a lot of these uh, scammers, they're gonna try to tell you, hey, you know, I'm selling a seal, it's brand new. Don't worry, this is the original one. And then you see the little pull tab and you think you're buying the genuine iPhone. But in reality, you are getting a fake. So just be careful about this uh, particular detail. So anyways, let's go ahead and crack it open. There's a little gap right here. And I got this approximately, I think it was about two days, three days ago, if I'm not mistaken. And um, as always, I have held my temptations to open the box. So here we have the replica. Let's go ahead and pop this open. We know that the iPhone 11 Pro Max has a different charger. So here we have the device itself. Again, 6.5 inch display. I really don't like these screen protectors. So I'm going to remove the whole entire thing. And uh, I can tell that it does have a chin on the bottom side. I don't know if you guys can see that right there through the glare between the light and the screen. There is a chin on the original iPhone 11 Pro Max. There's barely any. So at least right there, we know that this is not a true 6.5 inch. It must be maybe like a 6.3, 6.2 approximately. So here I have a case, which I had installed here on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Let's see if the body size is a one-to-one. -one. This is why I like when I have the original one, that way I can compare cases, accessories and whatnot. We can see that this one with the case is matching perfectly well. So there we go for the bottom side. You can see the cutouts for the microphone, the speakers, the A-pin charging port, everything matches. On the left hand side here we have the silent switch. It is a slightly off, I would say, but we're gonna be comparing it side by side here with the original one and see if it's uh, exactly the same. But the volume rockers are also working, so everything is fitting on the back side. You can see right there the cameras. You have the simulation of three cameras, but we can tell that only one sensor is real the other two look fake. This is also very common on replicas. So again, we can see that cases do fit. So let's go ahead and remove this here for a second. On the back side here, well, we have a screen protector once again, something that we don't see 
on the original iPhone 11 Pro Max. Okay, so here on the back side, we can see that the back glass has the same matte finish as the original iPhone 11 Pro Max. But the colors, even though they are super close, check this out. You can see that this one has more like a, I, I don't know, it's like a different tone of green on the back side. But again, the easier way to tell is by the cameras. Look at the LED flash. This one seems to be different. Then we have here the uh, microphone on the lower side. We can see that, well, that looks really close. The Apple logos, I would say, they're about the same. I don't know if you guys agree, but even the glare and everything from it is about the same as the original one. Again, size-wise, they are identical. Let's go ahead and check here the power keys. We can see that the antennas are also located on the same position. The power keys are slightly different for some reason, as you guys can tell, and even the SIM trays. So on the original one, it's uh, aiming towards the lower side or middle side. This one is more towards the upper side, as you guys can tell. On the bottom, you can see that, well, these are the same in terms of, um, let's see, I think I just turned on the fake one, no, I haven't. So anyways, on the bottom side here, we can see the charging port, the microphones, and the loudspeakers are also located on the same position. They have the same width. The antennas are very similar as well, and even the color of the frame is very similar. Then here on the left-hand side, we can see that the silent switch has been raised a little bit from the fake, and also the volume rockers up and down. So this is something that you guys can uh, obviously tell if you had the original one comparing it side by side. But just look at that, guys. I mean, you can't deny the fact that this phone can easily, easily, this one even more than any other, can easily confuse you in thinking that it is the real one. Unless you are, you know, a tech guru and you can tell that, well, the cameras are not one to one. I mean, you can easily tell that those two cameras right here are fake. But again, they are improving, and this is something that I mention on every replica video that I do. Inside of the box, we have the little same divider. You don't have the Apple stickers though. As you guys can see, they never come with it. And even though the box was made for the cutout for the bigger charger, we get the standard charger. Okay, so this is again a red flag that you're not getting the genuine iPhone 11 Pro Max. Also the earphones, they don't come with this plastic any longer. And we have the USB cable, that looks to be quite similar as usual. So at least on the accessory side, it is not a one to one. So let's go ahead and cover the box. And now what I'm going to do here is turn on, actually look at that guys, look how easily I got confused here. So this is the real one. Let's go ahead and turn on the fake. And I just felt the difference a little bit on the weight. Now that I grab it, the original one has a bigger battery, as we know. Um, and it's actually a little heavier than the fake one. Not by much, but it is heavier. Also, the Apple logo here, it's coming at the middle side. Very similar to the uh, Apple logo on the back side. You can see they are located on the middle side. Something a lot of you guys didn't notice before Apple had the Apple logo on the upper side. Now they have it centralized. And again, the fake has it as well. So right now this is booting up and I can also notice um, from the usage that I've had here with the iPhone 11 Pro Max that um, when it boots up, it is a little bit faster. So here on purpose, I went ahead and um, placed the same wallpaper as the fake on the original iPhone 11 Pro Max so that way we can see the similarities. So anyways, here we have it side by side. Let's go ahead and check the lock screen real quick. And here you guys can see that, well, aside from the colors of the wallpaper, it is quite similar already. The AT&T, of course, this one has the uh, service right now. This one doesn't, but you guys get the idea. It will display AT&T on the upper left hand side. The notches are really, really close. This one has a little bit more bezels and uh, the ear speaker, they're about the same. I think on the fake, it's a little bit wider than on the original one. And then towards the bottom, again, we don't have a chin here. We barely do. It is a very tiny bezel. I don't know if you guys can see that. But this one, you can see it very easily. 
So we have there the camera toggles and it says wipe to unlock. We have the flashlight. Let's see if it works. And I don't think it's working right now. Let's see. Let's try to hold it. There we go. The flashlight came on. But on the original one, the flashlight is way brighter. Look at the difference. Okay. So you are comparing the $1,100 phone versus the $90 phone. So here we can see the differences in terms of quality. Also, it is obvious to say that the iPhone, the original one, has a much smoother operating system. This one glitches a lot and it has a lot of uh, issues when it comes to the software stability. So anyways, let's go ahead and unlock this device. There we go. This one doesn't have a passcode yet. And I am assuming that it's going to simulate to have uh, face ID but in reality it's just a picture like we have seen on other replicas let's go here into settings let's go into settings here and let's change the mode just so that we can compare it fairly let's go here into display and brightness let's go into light mode and now here let's go ahead and check the brightness let's go into display and the brightness is about the same so again this is a OLED screen and this is an LCD screen, that's why you see the red tint on this one, and this one looks more white, at least on the camera. But in reality, this one has like a, I, I can't, I can't really describe it. It's like a, like a bone white type of color, and uh, this one just has um, a very bluish, bright white color. That's the best way I can describe it. But uh, anyways, getting um, out of here, let's go here to the main page, and uh, here you can see airplane mode. The Wi-Fi, um, I just have a ring motion here. Uh, notifications, this one is missing. Uh, screen time, as you can tell. So it is probably saying that it's mimicking iOS 13, but in reality, I think it's mimicking more iOS 12. So there you can see on about page, iOS 13.1. On this one, I have iOS 13.3, the latest update so far. Um, let's go back here into general and uh, on the real one. You have assistive touch already turned on. Let me just go ahead and turn this off. It usually comes on in the replicas just because of the fact that the system sometimes can be a little bit unstable. Like right now, I can't swipe to go back. I have to go all the way to the top here to go back to the previous screen. But um, again, you know, you guys can see the similarities. They're not 100%, but keep in mind that this is only a $90 replica versus the iPhone 11 Pro Max, which is $1,100. I gotta say, guys, I mean, right now, without applications being downloaded, this thing feels quite smooth. And let's go back here one more time. We can see now that we have the uh, original one side by side. You can see that the smoothness is almost the same when you're scrolling through pages. And actually having that notch here on the, or not the notch, but the chin on the bottom side, is barely noticeable when you're using the phone, really. I mean, I know that here through the camera, you guys are seeing that red tint and you think that's how it looks in real life. But in reality, they look quite similar. I mean, side by side, it's kind of scary. So anyways, here we have the operating system. Uh, this one is using Google Maps and this one is Apple Maps, as we know. Uh, so let's go ahead and exit out of here. We have the mail and you guys can tell that I have 54,000 emails and that's all on YouTube, believe it or not. So on here is giving you a very similar interface as the original iPhone 11 Pro Max when it's brand new. Let's go ahead and swipe down. And there we have the search option. Let's swipe down on here. And you can see this one is giving me the actual apps that I use a lot, as you guys can tell. Uh, the keyboard, this one is Android keyboard. This one is Apple keyboard. You can see the differences right there by default. Uh, so let's go here um, again to the main page. Let's see what else we have the task killer. Let's go ahead and check it out. So here you can see that this one kind of glitches a little bit. Okay, so we are killing the applications right now. Uh, we have another application I want to open here so that you can see something quite interesting on this particular fake one is that when we go into videos, it takes you directly into YouTube. This is the Android version of YouTube. As you can tell, all the menus are on the top side. And on iOS, YouTube has all the menus on the bottom side. So again, very cool, but at the same time, very easy to spot replica in terms of uh, software. If you open videos and it takes you into YouTube, 
that's definitely a red flag so we have seen already a few applications on here let's go ahead and check the dialer um, just to compare and we can see that it looks very similar to iOS we have here um, Safari and uh, this is a fake Safari it does show very similar icons here in the bottom side like iOS but we know that's not going to be um, the true Safari and here we have messages and unfortunately we don't have the animojis as we do on the original iPhone 11 Pro Max or other um, generations of the iPhone like the iPhone 10 and such this one is not going to have it and uh, the keyboard once again is simulating to be more like Android instead of iOS we have here the music application and we do have some sort of a fake 3d touch here we have it on the fake and this is on the original but you have that better haptic feedback on the original than you do on the fake and also the menus are not the same as you guys can tell so another application we have on here is called camera of course but you guys can easily tell the difference between one camera and the other I mean don't take me wrong the software on this particular one looks very similar we just look at certain icons like this one right here it is different um, on the top we have now the 16 by 9 ratio on the original iPhone 11 Pro Max and it's right there as you guys can tell this one doesn't offer that unfortunately so again this is another easy way to spot one and the other in terms of software also the fonts here for the settings are not the same either the shutter button on the fake is a uh, on the bottom side and on the original it's raised a little bit also the flash icons are not the same but you guys get the idea I mean at a glance they look very similar and looking at this camera on the fake one it doesn't look bad at least from screen to screen I mean here I have the original iPhone 11 Pro Max this is the fake Pro Max and again at a glance looking at it from screen to screen it doesn't look bad whatsoever but I can tell that well the stabilization is not there at all so again very very cool um, so let's go ahead and exit here the camera apps and of course you guys are not going to get the same quality in terms of uh, resolution this one has a true I think it's a 10 megapixel rear facing camera and a 5 megapixel front facing camera so this is the front facing camera it has face recognition let's go ahead and check here the camera on this one so you guys can see the colors I mean I look more like this color and not pale like on the left hand side so there you guys can see the qualities I mean just look at the camera okay this one you can see more details into it this one has like a blue tint and the white balance is absolutely out of whack but at least the camera is there and it works okay that's something to notice and again in my opinion it is getting better now something I did notice about this processor is that it feels smoother okay so like I told you at the beginning of the video I'm not sure if this is the MTK 65A0 or maybe a slightly better processor but it doesn't look as choppy as other replicas like the iPhone 11 that I unboxed and give you guys the hands on the purple version that one had more lag than this particular replica right here so let's go here into settings real quick and by the way I did connect it to the Wi-Fi network I don't know if you guys noticed that here from the upper right hand side corner uh, but it doesn't support 5G Wi-Fi so again another indication that you probably have a fake device um, you know if you really look into the software um, you can easily tell guys also FaceTime doesn't work it doesn't have um, iMessage and iCloud doesn't work either it's gonna pretend like you have a login um, option but I wouldn't trust this at all I mean I wouldn't even try it to be honest with you because you don't know what servers this is going to and for all you know they might steal your identity you never know guys just don't trust it um, you know this is a cool replica like I like to call it but after all it is still a Chinese phone with weird software that you don't know if, if it has any malware or something that could potentially steal your data so here we have um, face ID and passcode let's go ahead and try to set up this right here so let's go ahead and enter a password one two three four five six one two three four five six and it didn't match one two three four five six one two three four five and six there we go so now let's add face ID and you can see that the software looks quite similar and this time it goes by a percentage it doesn't 
asked me to move my face like on the original iOS. Uh, this is more like Android version. And um, so now I think that all we have to do is enable it. Let's go here into the main screen and let's see if it works. And right now it does work. You can see that the unlock icon is open. So now all I got to do is swipe. So just look at the animation here for the lock screen real quick before we wrap up this video. Look at the original iPhone. It's uh, of course smooth and fast. This one was a little bit choppy, but when you unlock it, the animation looks really cool. It looks really smooth. And again, this is a very well made replica. With this being said guys, let me know in the comment section below if you want me to provide more details in terms of comparison between the real one and the fake one. Don't forget to subscribe. Please hit the bell icon so that way you get a notification every time I upload. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for my supporters. I really appreciate you. Thank you guys. I, I really, really do appreciate it. Continue to do that and I'll keep bringing more content very soon. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on my next one.